If you roll a pair of dice four times, what is the probability that the sum is nine all four times? Well, first of all, we need to keep in mind that because each roll of the, die of the pair of die is independent, in other words, it doesn't matter which roll you're on, the probability of rolling a particular sum is not affected by a previous row. Because of that, that means when we apply the product rule of probability, we don't need to use conditional probabilities. We can just say it's the probability of the first of rolling a nine on the first row times the probability of rolling a nine on the second row times the probability of rolling a nine on the third row times the probability of rolling a nine on the fourth row. In other words, they're independent events, so we don't have to really think of these things as conditional events. But what we do have to do is find the probability of rolling a nine in a single row. And as you know, I like to write the sample space for a pair of die sum problem as a six by six square. And if I look at it that way, the things that sum up to nine can easily be located like so, and there are four of them. So it's easy to see that the probability that on a, each row you get a 9 is just 4 out of 36, which is 1 ninth. Now we just explained that because these, these rows are independent, the probability that the sum is 9 all four times is simply the probability that the first row comes out to be um, 9 times the probability that the second row comes out to be 9 times the probability that the third row comes out to be 9 times the probability that the fourth row comes out to be 9 and of course that's 1 over 9 to the fourth which is 1 over 6,561. So the probability of getting a sum of 9 4 out of 4 times is 1 over 6,561. One more thing I want to say just to be clear about this. It sort of a, it, it was an absolute coincidence that this, the question asked about the sum of 9, sum being 9, and it turned out to be 1 9, that there was a 9 right there. That's a total coincidence. It just happened because 4 over 36 happened to be 1 9. So there's no special significance. If I said the sum was 8, there wouldn't be 1 8 all the way across. I think you probably know that, but I just want to point out that that's just uh, a coincidence, I guess, essentially, that that happened. If the sum were some other number, it wouldn't be 1 over that number in the denominators. But in any case, the probability the sum is 9 all four times is 1 over 6,561.